First, I'll take off the paralysis from Cliff. You really don't want these people to have paralysis or be turned to stone or anything. Because, uh, if they're paralyzed, they will, uh, be taken out of the battle for at least a little bit. And if they're turned to stone, um, they won't be able to come back into battle, so. And from now on, uh, here in the mines, we are usually going to want to use the light stone. See, uh, illuminates our way, so. Now, eventually, we're gonna come up uh, to an area just left of here, I believe, where enemies will fight us no matter whether we're in the dark or in light, so don't worry about it too much. I'll say, yeah. It's too dark, but you're gonna get attacked by three enemies anyway, so. You wasted my time. Yeah. I won't hold anything back. Light yeah. How do you like that? Those ones even more than the green ones, uh they tend to stay in a dirty trick. Camouflaged uh fingers. The are more than they were in, uh, say, the Hine mines. Um, those ones can do quite a bit of damage. sucks about it is uh they go after your magic points more often so rear attack no rear attack no problem you want to taste it yeah This is the door that you can uh, go out if you want to, but you can't get back in, so. I would uh, just leave it alone. And here's our second little puzzle. Uh, let's clear out uh, the room first. Um, there's no enemies in here, so.
Okay, the place that we're going to want to go is uh, right down below us, but uh, we can't go into this door because it's barred. So what are we going to do? Well, there's two torches here. And we have to light both of them. It's kind of hard to get directly in front of them or whatever. And now we go right in between them, right into the middle of them. And that will open the door. That one was extremely, extremely easy to figure out. But, uh, this next one coming up, um, I could not for the life of me figure it out the first couple of times that I tried. Paralysis will eventually, uh, wear away, but... really don't want to use these things, but I uh, guess I don't have much response. This is going to be really nasty if uh, all three of your characters get paralyzed. And if uh, Nell and Cliff were to, say, get uh, turn to stone, then one. It doesn't matter if you have one enemy left. One. Because if all three of your characters that turn to stone is like the first. Moron, know your enemy before you strike the first. And one of the bosses here, um, actually. <clears throat> stoned all of my guys once and that really sucked now in here it's kind of a maze as to uh, exactly which way to go there's one enemy and we've got to follow it so we've got to we've got to kill that one enemy to progress it Usually, uh, they take you uh, all the way down to this corner to actually face it. But before we do, there is one treasure chest that I really want to get here. Mainly because I did uh, grind for my foal that I actually kind of needed. It. And that was not the one. But. The treasure chest right here. Watch this. Yeah, 15,000 foal. You don't have to be too concerned with uh, actually clearing out the area unless uh, you're going eventually for the scale button here, but I, I might uh, clear out at least most of it uh, in case I plan to come back, so. thing is, where was that monster hiding it? it? Maybe I really don't want to know. Okay, this is another area where uh, there's kind of a little puzzle for us to figure out. And uh, 
As I said, uh, the first time I went through here, I did not figure it out. <laughs> 